My name is Dr. Habib. I'm a pediatric endocrinologist. I have been in practice for 40 years and uh, today I'm going to talk to you about the relation or the connection uh, between a mineral called zinc and diabetes. Uh, zinc deficiency is a worldwide problem and it's estimated that 90% uh, uh, of the population uh, in the world are zinc deficient. Zinc, as you may know, is a cofactor in more than 200 enzymatic reactions, uh, including immune function, protein production, cell growth, hormone production, especially testosterone and insulin, which mean the function or the production of insulin is definitely does need zinc. What are the symptoms of zinc deficiency? Several, including fatigue, cardiomyopathy, poor appetite, digestive problems, weak immune system, sexual dysfunction, including low testosterone, prostate enlargement, sterility, vision, hearing, and smell and taste impairment, and of course, depression. It is very important to realize few things connected with zinc. Uh, first, selenium can be depleted if you take too much zinc. Also, coffee, phytate, high soy diet, calcium, copper, phosphorus, iron can interfere with zinc absorption. It is very important to realize that there is a ratio between zinc and copper consumption, and the zinc to copper ratio has to be 10 to 1. A couple of other things. If you drink too much alcohol, this will increase the excretion for zinc in the urine and will make you zinc deficient. Another factor, people who sweat a lot. Athletes who exercise a lot and sweat a lot, they are subject to become zinc deficient. If you need more information concerning zinc and its connection or relation to diabetes, please visit our website at triolife.com. I thank you.